in Windows, you can achieve a lot of custom symbols by typing Alt plus a number from the number pad. To type the number from the number pad, you need to make sure that the numlock is on. So for example, to type a copyright symbol, you can press Alt plus 0169 and it will type the copyright symbol. Using these alt codes, we've programmed them directly into the key mouse software. So now, if you expand the alt codes in the key assignment section, you will see that we've put a bunch of these symbols directly in the software. So you can program them to a single key. When you press that key, it will type alt plus the number for you, as long as numlock is on. So I've pre-programmed a bunch of these symbols on my red layer, just to show you, like copyright, registered trademark, trademark, some smiley faces, uh, some card suits. So I'll come into Notepad here, and I'll press my function red button, and I'll just type a bunch of these symbols. And you can just type them right while you're you're uh, working along. And uh, some of these symbols don't work in every font, so you have to keep uh, keep an eye out for that. Some fonts don't support the symbols, but uh, Arial and a lot of the basic fonts will support them. So you can also achieve a lot of international symbols with this as well. If you're going to achieve these international symbols using the alt codes, you need to be in the QWERTY layout and, and use the alt codes to achieve them. Otherwise, if you're in a uh, like the QWERT Z layout, you can go under Layouts, Create New, and choose a QWERT Z key set. You can achieve some of those same symbols if your computer is configured as a QWERT Z keyboard. So there's two ways to do that. We have another video on how to set up for international keyboards. So take a look at that video if you're trying to get uh, German, French, or other symbols.